Uncle Ed here is about to dispense a few insalubrious truths about what the TikTok ban reveals about the Democratic Party. Things you should know. Now, I'm sure that you're paying attention to the chessboard. The only thing the Democratic Party has to offer is we are not Trump. That's it. And that's important. Because I'm about to unpack that in detail. Believe it or not, there was a time in this country, in the late 1970s, in which America was the dominant semiconductor leader in the world. Yeah, that's right. We were number one back then. Something significant happened that shit the pants and unsettled the American industrialists. Japan learned to make semiconductors, you know, CPUs and all that, a lot cheaper and a lot faster. And they cornered the market. And this was a great shame upon the businessmen and the industrialists who thought that they could carry on with the endlessly burgeoning American economy. But nothing lasts forever. These unsettling feelings were captured in racist movies from the 1980s, like Ron Howard's Gung Ho. Even though the Japanese beat us at our very own game, at the game of capitalism. Well, the people in power don't want this to happen again. And instead of playing by the rules, they've invented this TikTok ban. Because ByteDance beat America at its own game. It created an irresistible product that was very easy to use, that allowed us to easily connect with people. And that ironically allowed leftists like me to get their message out to a wider audience. But politics makes strange bedfellows, don't it? As I said earlier, the only thing the Democratic Party has to offer us is we are not Donald Trump. That is because they are not the party of the people. They are the party of business. This was evident when they not only moved away from their working class message sometime in the mid-1980s to become a corporate neoliberal party, but it was also clear in the way that Bernie was pushed out of the 2020 election. Bernie Sanders, the left-leaning senator that everyone likes. He is the most popular senator. You probably know this, but I do feel a need to remind you that businesses are prepared for the likelihood of Donald Trump becoming president again and Project 2025 becoming a reality. Because they don't give a fuck about you either. All they care about is profit, whether it's democracy in the United States or fascism in the United States. They now have such a hold over our culture that the so-called liberal party here in the United States, the Democrats, answers to them. That's why they don't increase the minimum wage to a living wage. That's why they have been entirely feckless about Roe v. Wade being overturned. That's why they are backwards on so many issues that the people, you and me, the people can get behind and want to actually fucking happen. But it isn't because the Democratic Party is the party of business. The Democrats know that they have our vote simply because they are the party of we are not Donald Trump. But take Donald Trump out of the fucking picture entirely, they got nothing. They are operating on a short-term strategy. They're not seeing the bigger picture here. This TikTok ban shines in bright xenon lights that the Democratic Party is the party of business. Donald Trump will eventually leave this earth. That is a guarantee. And after that, the Democrats are going to have to have something totally different from we're not Donald Trump. You're not Donald Trump, but there is no Donald Trump. So uh, what do you got except more of the fucking same? The Democratic Party needs to be held strenuously accountable for this bullshit. They need to know that they're not going to have our votes if they are nothing but the party of business and nothing but we are not Donald Trump. It is time to hold their greedy, avaricious, self-serving feet to the fucking fire. Primary their asses. Get these corporate fucks out of there. If they show on to our mediums, hound them to death. Remember Jeff Jackson? Don't accept their platitudes. Don't accept their apology. They need to fear us. See, that's what's been missing in American life for the last 30 years. Fearing the people who vote you into office. I want to be clear, I'm not calling for violence here, but I am calling for a reckoning. These motherfuckers need to bend to our fucking knee because we are the people of the United States of America.